In the pre-title sequence, a proton blast shoots out the top of a mine shaft at the Shandor Mining Company. Then an old pickup truck comes hauling out of the mine shaft and down a desolate rural road. The driver is a bearded elderly man, Oliver Cooper, obscured in the darkness of his truck's cabin. He looks down at the passenger seat and touches a ghost trap that's holding a spirit. We meet Callie, Carrie Coon, and her kids Trevor, Finn Wolfhard, and Phoebe, McKenna Grace, as they are getting evicted from their apartment. Callie gets noticed that her father has passed away in his farmhouse in Oklahoma. Callie takes Trevor and Phoebe into town to eat after she admits to them that they will be staying there for a while until she can figure out what to do. They find that it's a very small southern town where everyone knew of the mysterious man they all called the Dirt Farmer since there was no evidence he ever grew any crops. Trevor applies to work at the burger joint because he is smitten with the girl who works there named Lucky, Celeste O'Connor. Phoebe begins exploring the farm while using the PKE meter. She notices a chess board with an initial move made so she makes a move from her side of the board. Phoebe also meets a boy in her class who calls himself Podcast. Logan Kim Phoebe plays the ghost as the chess pieces begin moving in front of her. The ghost leads her downstairs by turning on lights until she finds the ghost trap under a floor panel. They rig the trap to a school bus battery to get it to open. Phoebe repairs a proton blaster with help from Egon's invisible ghost and takes it out for a test with Podcast tagging along. They find the metal-eating ghost named Muncher. They attempt to wrangle and capture him but fail. Phoebe uses her one phone call option to call the number of the Ghostbusters from the commercial. Phoebe confronts her mom for not telling her who their grandfather really was. Callie counters with the history she had with her dad. She felt like they never bonded and he didn't care about her. The kids find out their grandfather's dirt farm was actually a field of hundreds of ghost traps meant to capture Gozer. They realize that his trap must have failed and set off to investigate the mine shaft once more. Lucky has become close with Trevor through work and the discovery that she is the sheriff's daughter. Gary goes to Walmart to pick up some ice cream after his unusual date with Callie. He discovers several mini stay puffed marshmallow men roaming the store causing chaos. He comes upon the demon dog he released earlier and gets chased out to his car and attacked just like the scene from Cujo. Back at the farmhouse, Callie finds the hidden lab and discovers that her father Egon had a memory board of all her life on the wall. The kids retrieve Ecto-1 from the police impound with Lucky's help. The kids come home to reveal their discovery to Callie but find her possessed. Phoebe and Podcast are able to get the RC ghost trap and proton blaster out from the weapon holding cell by reaching in and releasing Muncher. The kids arrive at the mine and witness Callie and Gary transforming into the demon dog forms with Gozer sitting between them. Phoebe steps out from hiding to talk to and distract Gozer while Podcast controls the RC trap and captures the demon dog possessing Callie. This releases her from dog form as she passes out. The kids escape in Ecto-1 with Callie as the Gary still possessed in dog form chases after them. Callie and Phoebe stand on the porch holding the ghost trap with the demon dog that Gozer needs to become fully resurrected. They make their way to the farmhouse and attempt the same trap as Egon. Some mini stay puffed marshmallow men sabotage the equipment inside Ecto-1. The freed dog possesses Lucky. Just as Gozer, now back to full strength, is about to kill Phoebe, she is hit with a proton blast from behind. Trevor and Podcast have been able to defeat the mini puffs and repair the sabotaged equipment. Callie throws the switch to try to turn the traps on again, and this time they successfully activate, capturing Gozer and the demon dogs. Egon's form fades and dissipates into the night sky. Lucky and Gary break free of the frozen dog carcasses. Winston tells them that he will fix up Ecto-1. The three original Ghostbusters take it and their equipment back to New York City. There is a mid-credits scene where Dana Barrett Venkman, Sigourney Weaver, tests Peter's psychic powers. There is a brief conversation between Winston, who is now the wealthy head of his family, and Janine. Winston mentions that he has been using his resources to maintain the Ghostbusters' properties.